President, we're on the question of the flooding in Vermont. I was born in Vermont. I've lived there all my life. But I saw something that I've never seen in Vermont. But you could just see a town completely marooned. Every road going into it, every bridge going into it, gone. Homes and businesses and water systems, miles of roads were swept away. And even worse, some Vermonters lost their lives in these devastating floods. We've had an unprecedented wave of flooding this year. We had two spring events previously just declared as major disasters. Vermonters have shouldered these great burdens. We pulled together from all parts of the state, all walks of life. We're meeting the, new the crisis with the same courage and cooperation and resilience we Vermonters have always shown. Winter is fast approaching. In Vermont, snow can be flying in a matter of weeks, certainly in a matter of a couple months. We must move quickly to secure our homes and businesses, restore our roads, our bridges, our water systems, our schools, our medical facilities. With just weeks to accomplish so much, we need the full and immediate support of FEMA and so many other of our federal agencies. It is time to take care of Americans. The needs of Americans, not just in disaster, but the needs of Americans in their education, their medical care, our scientific research to find a cure to cancer and Alzheimer's, take care of the housing needs of America, take care of our rivers and bridges. It's time to start worrying about this great country of ours. It was 12 days ago now that this enormous, slow-moving storm hit Vermont that turned our calm, scenic brooks and creeks into raging gushers. In addition to our roads and historic covered bridges that were destroyed or carried away, we had barns and farmhouses and crops, parts of fields, livestock washed away in the rising floodwaters. Now the cameras have begun to turn away. But the cleanup and urgent repairs are underway. For major parts of Vermont's economy, the worst effects of the storm are yet to come. For our dairy farmers, who are bedrock of our economy, keystones of our communities. The toll of this disaster has been heavy, and the crisis has lasted longer as they struggle to take care of their animals when the floodwaters recede. And the timing could not have been worse. Corn, which is a crucial winter feed for dairy cows, was just ready for harvest. Now our best corn is in river bottoms. It's ruined. Other farmers have just prepared their ground to sow winter cover crops and winter greens, and they lost significant amounts of topsoil. Coping with damage and destruction on this scale is beyond the means and capabilities of a small state such as ours. And federal help with the rebuilding effort will be essential to Vermont, as it will be to other states, coping with the same disaster. And I worry that the support they need to rebuild may not be there, as it has been in past disasters. When we have rebuilt after hurricanes and floods, fires and earthquakes to get Americans back in their homes, something Vermonters have supported, even though in these past disasters, Vermont was not touched. So I look forward to working with the Appropriations Committee and with all senators to ensure that FEMA and USDA and all of our federal agencies have the resources they need to help all of our citizens at this time of disaster, in Vermont and in all the other states hit. We also face the grim fact that few of our farms had bought crop insurance. And so it may not be covered by USDA's current SURE SURE disaster program. But those are things I'm working on to help find ways to help our farmers, as we move forward to the commitment to help our fellow Americans. We can't sit here and just talk. We have to do it now.